Hey, welcome back, friends. I have found what for some of you might be the holy grail of weight distribution hitches for your travel trailer, or any trailer for that matter, I guess. But this is the TR3 from EaseLift, and a lot of you want performance with no noise, and you don't want to spend $3,500 to get it. Well, I've got an option for you right here. We're going to talk about the TR3 today. I've been very impressed with it, to be quite frank, when they first sent it to me. Uh, it looked a little wonky. It looked busy. It looked like it wouldn't be something for me. I didn't, wasn't sure how it was going to handle this 37-foot travel trailer, but I'm so glad I've spent a lot of time with it. That's why it's so important for me to spend time with all of these hitches. Uh, this is the eighth hitch we've done now, and uh, I find it so important to spend time with them, this one more so than any, because as I spent time with it, I began to like it more and more. We're going to talk about it today, and then at the end, I'm going to show you how it hooks up. I hope you'll stick around. Okay, this is the EaseLift TR3. This is the 1200 model, and for some reason they call it 1200, but you can actually have a 1500 pound hitch weight on it. I, I don't know what that's about, but a little confusing there. But let me show you, I've introduced you this to this hitch before, and uh, just a reminder in case you haven't seen that video, this is a different hitch. So if you're looking, so a lot of your hitches, you have these inserts right here where the bar inserts into the hitch head. This one swivels, but this one is welded. So this one doesn't move at all. And then you have a shank right here that's controlled with like a, uh, a brake material. You almost have like a rounded brake pad right here that keeps this from moving uh, too much. So just, just like the brakes on your, on your rotors, right? And you can adjust how much sway control you have with this little hex nut right here. Now, I've, I haven't had to adjust it at all. We haven't had any icy conditions. I, well, I live in Georgia. I don't deal with any of that stuff. But, uh, but yeah, you can see how this is a little bit different. Obviously, you adjust some of your distribution back here with this nut right here, and then everything locks in up here. One, one con, now I'll talk about pros and cons throughout this little conversation, and then we'll talk about how it performed at the end, but uh, I don't think they offer a two and a half inch hitch. If I'm wrong about that, please, EaseLift or Camco, please uh, comment in the, in the comment section to let me know, but I had to use a, an adapter and that always gets on my nerves a little bit. It's, you know, lining everything up and all that fun stuff, but no big deal, not that big of a deal. Uh, one thing I love about this hitch is you can see the bars come in here and then they're locked in with these pins. And these pins are basically, you can use them one-handed. And, uh, and then they're attached by a little cable. And I love that. Every single hitch, hitch manufacturers, all of you should do this. And you should also use decent sized pins. I love that, uh, that's definitely gonna help and as far as the build score is concerned. Um, on that note, I'm not gonna score this like I scored the others because this is a different trailer. And so I don't think it's fair uh, to score this, even though it's, it would do very well, actually. I will put it in a, in a ranking with the others uh, so I, because I like to rank stuff. But, uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna score it on a numerical scale like I did the others. Uh, the, build, the build score would be really good on that note. Back here at the saddles, let me scoot down a little bit. Um, I, there's a couple things I really like about these saddles, a couple things I don't. So uh, one more thing up here, this brake material eventually, I guess, will wear out. So that's that's one con. I assume it would take tons of miles, but uh, I did want to mention that. Back here, I, I like these saddles, um, and I'll tell you why in just a second. But one one con is this, pl this is plastic. That's what makes this silent. So when those bars are, are moving across right here, the friction is in the brake material. So the friction to reduce sway is in the brake material. That shouldn't make any noise, just like if you've got good brakes on your vehicle, that doesn't make any noise. So back here, these bars are, are free to move back and forth over this, this plastic material. And yeah, this thing is completely silent. And some of you will absolutely love that. Uh, the, it doesn't bother me whether or not they make noise, but some of you it does, and I understand why. And, uh, but, but I know you'll love that. Uh, nice little, good looking saddles here. I like the red and black, I'm a Georgia fan, go dogs. And uh, so yeah, also, you've also got, I mean, these are pretty much one-handed as well. I'm trying to look through a, a viewfinder, but, but you can uh, obviously watch it didn't work when I'm in here, but yeah, okay. Anyway, 
I have to adjust that a little bit. But anyway, you can put these in and, all right, I got to make this work. This is just stupid. Give me a second. There we go. But once you get them in, you can just pop them in like that and they're, they're basically one-handed. Um, I love, again, they've got them attached by a cable. I, every manufacturer should do that and use good size pins. When you want to pop them off, I just take them like this and pop them off and they come right out. So yeah, there you go. Uh, the bars, these are, uh, the 1200 comes with these bars. Again, I don't know why it's called 1200, but your tongue weight can be 1500, 15,000 pound max trailer weight. Uh, they are tapered, which you guys know, I've had history with tapered bars in the past, but porpoising has not been a problem with this hitch. So I think uh, they're tapered similarly to a Pro Pride bar. And uh, once I adjusted the Pro Pride, I didn't have any more porpoising out of it. And I think that's one reason because these are a lot thicker than some of the other hitches that have these tapered bars. Uh, the, the porpoising is controlled much better. Yeah, well, another good thing, let me switch you over here a little bit. Uh, this, when I, when I first got this, this is, this is what they get. This is literally what's sent to you to, to adjust the saddle, to engage the saddles. It's just a pipe. And when I first got it, I'm like, well, that's kind of bootleg. I, I mean, they just sent an extra piece of pipe with the hitch. But in reality, again, as I've spent time with it, I actually love this because if I ever lose it, all I got to do is find a pipe. So I don't have to have a special wrench. I don't have to have an oversized socket. I've got, all I need is a pipe, three quarter inch or so. And yeah, I'm rocking and rolling. So I've actually ended up really liking that they do this. Um, yeah, it just makes sense to me. What else? Let's talk about performance a little bit and then I'll hook it up. Uh, this hitch performed so much better than I thought it would. And I, it performed, it made this 37 foot trailer, you can see here, I'm a, I'm a big girl right now, and this thing goes away tomorrow, by the way. If you watch the channel, you know we've had this prototype for uh, several months, giving feedback to Grand Design. Uh, she goes home tomorrow, so it's kind of bittersweet. Wanted to make sure I get this video in before she did. But uh, this thing makes this 37 foot trailer, it's, it's almost exactly, performs exactly like the equalizer uh, handled my 32 foot trailer. And that's high praise. That is high praise. Uh, so I would assume this is just an assumption. That's why I can't give this thing an official score because this is a this is a different trailer. But I would assume that this is going to perform a little bit better than an equalizer. And again, like I said, that is super high praise because the equalizer is a very good hitch. Now I like the build on the equalizer a little bit more. I like the fact it has the equalizer has a lifetime warranty, so they kind of equal out there. But this thing performs very very well, and I've been extraordinarily happy with it. Uh, and, and very surprised. I've been very surprised. Um, yeah, there you go. Cost right now, they don't, they're not even online for sale right now. They're so new. Uh, I think they're going to MSRP for $749. I bet you'll be able to find them for $699, maybe even a little bit less than that. So the cost is really not that bad either. This thing would have scored very well in our hitch battle. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to bring it to you. Like I said, when I first got it, when I first got it, I, you know, you kind of see, you see this stuff over here and the brakes and, you know, the brake material and then you see these pins with these cables and I, it was real busy. And I was like, I don't know about this thing. And, you know, the adjustment nut back here, which actually ends up being really good. But, um, but like I said, as I spent time with it, I really, really like it. Uh, let me go and hook it up and show you how now, One works. of my favorite things about this hitch is you don't have to drop the hitch down, lock in the ball and raise the hitch up so you can get your, your, your sway bars on. And I'm gonna show you that that's a big deal because that's that just takes up time. It's kind of a pain. I don't like putting all that stress on my jack. And I just I was surprised. I just like I learned I didn't have to do that after a few times. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go in real time. I'm not gonna speed this up. I'm gonna show you how this thing hooks up right quick. So as soon as I get it all the way on the ball and locked in, I'll go ahead and put my my sway bars on. Now I know I'm on when it starts dropping the truck a little bit. That's when I know I'm on when it starts to drop that hitch just a tiny bit. I'll come in here. I'll lock in. Now, almost every other hitch, almost every other hitch at this point, now I'm raising this up to take some weight off of this 
to put these sway bars on. I don't need to do that with this hitch, okay? And all of my weights are distributed properly. So yeah, I've been really impressed. Let me get a bar right quick. Now this side's a little bit stubborn, can be, because that's the, the side that's, yeah, there we go. Pop that in. Again, doing this real time. Make sure I got my, my bar in. And see, this pops just one-handed. Now I'm in, all right? Got this in over here. Grab my little bar, reach under here, engage that, and then I come up here, pop that in, up and over, and it's locked in. It's really that easy. And then, again, I don't have to raise my, my hitch up again and all of that fun stuff. Uh, I'm not going to put my chains and all that stuff on them. I'm just pulling it out into the road. Uh, Grand Design is going to come pick it up tomorrow. But yeah, I'll just now we'll just do it on the other side. Again, super simple. Grab my bar. It's got a little notch right there where that locks in. Now this one's even easier because it has a little, it swings around. So it, uh, it generally engages much easier. Normally this will be down after you unhooked. Grab my little pipe, popping up. I'm putting maybe four pounds of pressure on that. It's, it's, it's not hard at all. And then uh, a lot of times I will have to go back and that, not that time I didn't, but sometimes I'll have to back that off, you know, an eighth of an inch or so to get that pin to fit. Super easy to hook up. Again, completely silent. Could be the holy grail for some of you guys. Out there. All right. I know for some of you, you guys want to know how I rank this hitch versus the other hitches. And I'm actually going to officially put it in third place, tied for third place with the equalizer. I think in the end, it will handle a tiny bit better than the Equalizer, but I like the Equalizer's build and their warranty a little bit more. That's where they kind of equal out. But they, it, this is a good hit. That is high praise, by the way, guys. Uh, number two would still be way safe, and number one would be Pro Pride as far as the performance is concerned. But I'm actually thinking about selling my Pro Pride. I'm, uh, I'm so happy with the way safe. Uh, the Pro Pride is hard to beat, but yeah. The way safe is too. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. If you're looking for a silent hitch that performs very, very well, the EaseLift TR3 might be for you. Hope this was useful. Consider subscribing. See ya.